Hey everyone, my name is Wendy Myers of MyersDetox.com. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We're going to talk about how mitochondria function, how they work, and what is interfering in mitochondria function. So if you guys want to learn more about this, expand on this idea, you can click the link below. And please, if you like this information, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications button down below. So appreciate that. Let's get to it. Our mitochondria make our body's energy. They're those little powerhouses of the cell and heavy metals interfere in their functioning. So I want to talk about a couple of points. I often get asked about fatigue and the heavy metals behind it. This is kind of something that I focused on for years. I've done research about this. I've written a book called Limitless Energy, How to Detox Toxic Metals to End Exhaustion and Chronic Fatigue. And a lot of the book is explaining about how mitochondria function. So today I want to sit down with you and devote some time to discussing these energy vampires, these heavy metals and how they affect your mitochondria function and what you can do to detox these heavy metals from your body. So specifically, we're going to be talking about metals that interfere in mitochondria function like arsenic, aluminum, tin, thallium and cesium. So let's get started. So what I've found in my research and in working with thousands of clients is that the number one complaint that people have is fatigue. It was my number one complaint too. And so many people have low energy. They even have chronic fatigue. Some people have been in bed for years, but the detox program, the protocols that I've worked out help people that have been in bed, in bed for years and they can recover their mitochondria function and energy to the point where they go back to work. It's an amazing transformation. In becoming a health practitioner and, and starting MyersDetox.com, before that, I was struggling with my own health issues. And at the top of the list, I had debilitating fatigue. And like many of you, I was super, super tired. I didn't have the energy that I, I needed to work out. I didn't have the energy to live the life that I wanted to. And detoxification helped me to recover my life, to get my life back, so to speak. So your mitochondria, let's discuss what they are. Your mitochondria are the little powerhouses in your cells. They're little organelles inside your cells that make your your energy or your ATP, that's the energy currency of the cells. There are like little energy factories and they have to be functioning properly in order to help your body recover from fatigue. So in order to function, your mitochondria require a number of nutrients. You need to have plenty of magnesium, zinc, boron, riboflavin, which is a B vitamin to, to name a few, it's B2. And your mitochondria take in all of these different nutrients and use them to make ATP. But the problem is that most people today are nutrient deficient thanks to our toxic world, depleted food supply, people are stressed out, they have leaky gut, they're not absorbing nutrients from their gut, you know, a lot of different absorption issues, even if you're eating this amazingly healthy diet or you are taking a really high quality supplements. Also, people need minerals or their mitochondria to make energy as well. Minerals are the spark plugs of the body and not, most people are deficient and they're not taking that. Minerals aren't very sexy. People are usually taking all kinds of other things, but the basics are you have to have minerals. So how does this relate to mitochondria dysfunction? Let me explain. You need to have energy to sleep. Sleep is a very energy intensive process. So you need energy for your body to heal and function properly, but you also need energy to detox. In fact, you need energy for all of the regenerative processes that are happening when you're sleeping. So if you're not sleeping enough or if you're not producing enough energy, your sleep suffers and you're not able to heal your body. It's kind of like this catch 22. And so many people, when they're tired, they start reaching for coffee. They're reaching for carbs. They're reaching for sugar. They're reaching for anything that will give them that quick head of energy. But the problem is actually that heavy metals are interfering in mitochondrial functioning. So what do metals do? So they impair mitochondrial functioning in many, many different ways. So one is that they poison enzymes that transport nutrients into your mitochondria. So it doesn't matter if you're supplementing with all of these nutrients, if you have heavy metals like arsenic, aluminum, 
tin, thallium, and cesium. These are poisoning the enzymes that transport those nutrients into your cells. So with these heavy metals present, you're not gonna be able to produce the energy that your mitochondria are capable of producing because these metals interfere in mitochondria functioning. So aluminum is one of the number one culprits. They're found in so many different products. It's found in underarm deodorant that people are using every day. It's an anti-caking agent in salt, sugar, and flour. It's found in the air that we breathe. Uh, it just gets in the air from industrial manufacturing. People are cooking with aluminum foil, drinking from aluminum cans. A lot of restaurants are using cheap aluminum cookware, aluminum silverware. The highest aluminum levels I've seen in people are people using aluminum cookware. So there's a lot of different ways that aluminum enters the body. It's also in water, well water, things like that. And then our Arsenic. So arsenic is also found in water, very common water contaminant. It could be in their well water, in the municipal water, in the shower water. Even if you're drinking filtered water, you can be, still be getting these metals from your shower water. Arsenic is also found in conventional chickens, conventional eggs, because arsenic is put in the chicken feed because it helps chickens grow 50% faster, makes the meat look really pink and healthy. It's really gross, but that's just the deal. It's, it's a practice around the world. World. So you got to make sure your chickens and eggs are organic and or pasture raised, okay? Grass fed also. And arsenic is also found in rice, very common contaminant in rice. So eat white rice is brown rice. The metals are in the bran of the rice. So you wanna eat white rice. And then the next thing is tin. Tin is a metal that can be found in water, air. It can be found in mercury fillings and mercury amalgams. So if you have, you know, you envision your little mitochondria and this membrane of your mitochondria it has a certain like charge on the outside of it. It has a certain like potential. Tin will dispel that charge of the mitochondria, rendering it less able to produce energy. So that kind of how it's how it poisons our mitochondria functioning. And then thallium. Thallium is a metal that a lot of detox experts are not talking about, despite the evidence that it severely affects your health, your mitochondria function, and a major culprit in chronic fatigue. Anyone with chronic fatigue fatigue has thallium toxicity. So thallium is in all of the air that we breathe. It's released in our environment from smog, from combustion engines. It's a naturally occurring compound that's in petroleum deposits. So, you know, when we burn oil and gas from cars, thallium is released into the air. And so again, that thallium poisons enzymes that transport nutrients into our mitochondria. Then there's cesium. Cesium is being unleashed into our environment from the Fukushima nuclear disaster fallout in Japan. That happened about 10 years ago, but even just a couple of weeks ago in 2021, there was another earthquake that affected the Fukushima nuclear reactors that were already destroyed. Another earthquake rattled those again, probably causing more damage, more nuclear pollution, more cesium in our environment. And cesium does the same thing as thallium. It interferes in the potassium potassium channels and potassium metabolism in the body. So many times people will have cramps in their body and they're taking magnesium, they're taking potassium, they're still having these cramps or foot cramps or calf cramps, and they can't figure out why because they're taking magnesium and potassium. The reason is because cesium and thallium occupy those potassium enzyme binding sites in the body. So the muscles don't function properly. You got to detox cesium and thallium to get rid of those cramps for a Good. Taking magnesium and potassium is good because it will displace cesium and thallium from those enzyme binding sites in your muscles, but you've got to detox the cesium and thallium. So how do you get rid of these metals? How do you detox these metals so that your mitochondria can function properly, so they can produce the energy that your body is capable of producing? So the first thing I want to recommend to you is this product that I designed. It's called Ageless AF. It has a specific type of silicon 
silica in it that will bind onto mobilize aluminum, arsenic, tin, thallium, and cesium. So this is a fantastic silica. You can't take just any silica. There's a specific type in here that was very, very adept at clearing these from your body. This also has selenium in it, which is great as anti-aging, making thyroid hormones, which are great. And it also contains biotin and hyaluronic acid, which is amazing for your hair, skin, and nails. It gives your hair, skin, and nails a nice glow. You get that shiny, high pro glow. And then whenever you're taking any kind of product that mobilizes metals, you want to take a binder. So I developed this binder called Citraclens. This is amazing at absorbing all kinds of toxins like a sponge. It has grapefruit, citrus pectin in it. So it's a type of pectin that's really adept at absorbing different toxins and then your body can just excrete them. This also has cilantro extract, which is very well known to detox mercury and lead and other metals in it. It also has fulvic and humic acid, which floods your body with minerals. And that's really helpful to help push out metals from enzyme binding sites and facilitate detoxification. So these are these two products together, what I call my mitochondria detox. These are kind of like that, that one, two punch that you need to get rid of these metals that are interfering in mitochondria functioning. You guys can click the link below if you want to learn more about the mitochondria detox and learn more about these products that are amazing at removing these metals that cause fatigue. I assure you these over time, it's not going to be some overnight, you know, miracle, but if you take these products, these two things on a regular basis, they do work well to start removing and clearing these toxins that interfere in your mitochondria function and ability to produce energy. So we've got hundreds and hundreds of uh, clients and testimonials about how well these products have worked with them. I have worked with thousands of clients over the years to help detox them. And I'm going to be 49 this year. And I'm telling you, detox is my key to youthfulness and longevity. And uh, definitely taking the silica in here gives my skin a really firm, shiny, healthy appearance. Ageless AF is one of my secret weapons here to detox my body, detox my mitochondria and help remain youthful and young as well. So hope you guys like that video. Please, please, please hit the subscribe button below. If you want to get notifications, that would be fantastic. Every time I have a new video out about how to detox your body and get your life back with detox, just click that link below and get your notification. So I'm Wendy Myers of MyersDetox.com. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time.